Bonjour, hi, welcome to another video of Cloud in 5 Minutes. I'm Frank Boucher and today I want to show you how to search like a boss with Azure Graph Query. Aussi, si vous préférez, j'ai une version en français de ce vidéo. Il y a un lien de disponible dans le coin en haut à droite ou dans la description. Would it be with Azure PowerShell or Azure CLI? We all do a bunch of queries across our subscriptions to get information about our resources. And with time, we know we have more and more subscriptions. What's nice about Azure Graph is you could query across all subscription at once. It's not only very performant, but it's also very useful. If you want to know more about the performance, I invite you to look at this awesome post from my friend Stéphane Lapointe, who is Azure MVP. I will put the link in the description. It explain how quickly it could be compared to the old fashioned way. So now let's get started. So today I want to use Azure Graph Query and you could run it directly from the cloud shell or from a terminal. It will also be possible to run it on PowerShell CLI, but for today, I will be in Azure CLI. To get started, you could follow the link I create just for you, aka.ms slash azgraph q for query. There, you have all the information to get started. So let's first add the extension. Right now, the extension is in preview. So by default, it shouldn't be included in your solution. Add it is just AZ extension add, and then you specify the name of the extension, so resource graph. To see that the extension is already installed, you could so you could also list them all with AZ extension list. And of course, to remove it, it will be AZ extension remove, then you pass the name of the extension. But let's keep it for a little while so we could try it. So now we'll clean my screen and try our first query. Like I was saying, with Azure Graph, you could query across all your subscription at once. But of course, you could also specify only a subset. To know all the particularity of what's possible, you could execute the common Azure Graph query with help. Now you have all the information. I promise you a first query, so let's do it. So it will be easy graph query, and then I specify my query. So I want the project names and type. That's it. Let's execute it. And now I have everything in a JSON format. It may be different because the default format is part of the setting. So you may have changed your own settings but you could also change it on the fly. So for example, I can change the result, the output. I can change the output of my result by doing that. So I still have the same beginning. Whoa. So I still have the same beginning with AZ graph query. And then I say project, that's my object that is written. And I say, I want the name with uppercase and the type. And then I want that in a table format. I could have different tabs, separated value and different type. But for now, let's try it with a table. So now it's more human readable. You prefer having your results sorted? I understand that. You just need to specify the sort by and you have ascendant descendant possible. Great, that's cool. So of course, you will be probably working with a bigger data set than I am right now. So it will be important to page your result because the maximum record return is 5,000. So to do that, you could just specify to return a quantity. So let's say I want to have the 10th first record. So there it is. And if I want to page, let's say my page is, let's say my page is two, so if I skip, if I skip to, then I will start at server farms. There it is. 
Of course, Custo, that's the name of the query language, support many wear condition, regex, and multiple stuff. This video was just an introduction, so if you want to learn more, go to the URL to learn more about it, and it's worth your time because this is the same language used for querying in analytics. That's it for this introduction video. I hope you like it, and I hope it will be useful. If you have questions or a topic you want me to cover, write it down in the comment section. I'm always very happy to read you. Until then, see you next time. Thank you for watching.